In this video, we are going to make the circuit for fixed power supply. This is the circuit of the fixed power supply which we are going to make in this video. This is a transformer. We will provide an AC supply to its primary winding which will step down its voltage and gives the output at its secondary winding. These two diodes along with this transformer will make a rectifier circuit whose output will be unidirectional output with some ripples. This capacitor C1 is a filter capacitor which will remove the ripples of the rectifier circuit and provides the ripple free output to this IC. This is a regulator IC7805. It has three pins. First input pin, third output pin, second is connected to the ground. This is a 7805 regulator IC. Here 05 means it will give the output voltage of plus 5 over here. LED in this circuit acts as an indicator. For fixed power supply, we need all these components. First of all, take the PCB. Images of different components are printed on this PCB and accordingly we have to mount the component. First of all, take the voltage regulator IC7805. Its number and image are printed on PCB. So, mount this on that place carefully. Now it's the time to do soldering. So, take soldering iron and whenever needed, take solder wire. Now start doing soldering. Soldering should be done carefully and with some precautions because as we know it can burn our hands. This will look like this after the soldering. The extra lids or extra terminals of the IC can be cut off with the help of cutter. Now take the capacitor. The terminal close to the light blue band shows the negative terminal of the capacitor. The positive sign and the image of capacitor are printed on PCB. So with carefully mount the capacitor on PCB as shown in this video. Now it's the time to do the soldering. But before soldering you can apply the flux. It facilitates and helps in soft soldering. Now take the soldering iron and again solder wire. Now do the soldering. Now after doing the soldering, cut off the extra terminals of capacitor with the help of cutter. Now take the resistor of 330 ohm value. Its value and image are printed on PCB. So accordingly, mount the resistor on that place. First of all, bend it and then mount it on the PCB. Try to make it fix. You can see on the other side of the PCB that resistor and LED are connected to each other. So first of all I will mount the LED and then perform the soldering. Mount the LED such that its anode terminal should be close to the resistor. And then apply the flux on its terminals. Now take soldering iron, solder wire and perform the soldering. It will look like this. Cut off the extra terminals with the help of the cutter. Now take the diode. Its symbol and image are printed on PCB. First of all bend it and mount this on PCB. Mount the diode on PCB such that its silver band should be on the side of band of the image. 
After mounting the diode, apply the flux and then do the soldering. After soldering, again cut off the extra terminal of the diode. Now take the another diode, bend it and mount it on another image. We need to fix it. Apply the appropriate amount of flux. And then do the soldering. Cut off the terminals of the diode. Our PCB will look like this. Now for the connection of transformer with the PCB we have connector which has three terminals. Its image is printed on PCB. First of all dip the connector in the flux and then mount it on PCB. Now the time for soldering. Take the solder wire according to the need and then perform the soldering. It is completed now. Now to take the output we have two wires. Remove the insulation of the wires as shown in this video with the help of the cutter. Twist this wires. And we can apply the flux on this wires as well. Pin this wires with the help of soldering iron. This will help in smooth mounting and smooth connections. Now the same procedure for the second wire. Now insert the wires in the holes where the image of two pin connectors is shown. Now take the soldering iron and solder these wires. So our circuit is ready. This will look like this. This two wires will help us to take the output. With the help of the multimeter we can see the output of the fixed power supply circuit. For that we need center tap transformer, a fixed power supply circuit and a multimeter. Before checking the output of the circuit we need to check the connectivity of the multimeter. Keep the knob of the multimeter on the speaker. Connect both the wires. If the multimeter buzz, that means the multimeter is working properly. Now connect the transformer to the connector of the circuit 
as shown in this video. As soon as we connect the transformer, the LED will glow, which is the indicator here. The output of this circuit will be in the form of voltage. So we will shift the knob of the multimeter over voltage range. Now connect the wires of the multimeter to the wires of the circuit. You can see in this video the multimeter is showing 4.96 volt which is approximately equal to the 5 voltage. We are getting 5 voltage just because we have connected 7805 regulator IC. To order this fixed variable power supply circuit you can contact on 960-492-2180. For more details and for more interesting kits like this, you can visit in the hobby kit section of our website www.mdbelectrosoft.in.